Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you the, actually you begged me for this, because I only made a reels on it, and then I made a TikTok, and then like they got a million views, and y'all are going nuts for this recipe. It is the Thomas Keller Viral Zucchini Recipe, and it's not really a recipe at all, it's more of a method, and you begged me for a video on Laura in the Kitchen, which by the way, I cannot believe that that got a million views. Do you know how hard it is to make those videos by yourself? And for that to be the video, anyway, it is really the best way to eat zucchini. I'm not going to lie to you. It is phenomenal. And let me show you how you do it. You take a couple of zucchini. Technically, they should be smaller. But we have talked about my local grocery store, okay? Not the best. It's just not the best. So I will take what I can get. You're going to slice them down lengthwise like so, okay? That's what they should look like. Now you're going to take each one and you're going to take a sharp knife. It may be better if you use a smaller one and you're just going to come in here. Don't go all the way through and you are going to create a crisscross pattern. Okay. Just like that. You're making those little diamonds in there as my mother would say. And you're going to do this to all four pieces. Then what you do is you salt them just like this. Okay. You want to get that cut side like so like that and I've got a baking sheet here ready with some paper towels because you're just going to flip that over and you're just going to put salt side down on that paper towel and you're going to let them sit for about 15 minutes or so. It's going to draw out a lot of the moisture. In the meantime, I've got my oven preheating to 425, um, like 400, between 4 and 425, you know, my oven's nuts. And then once those are ready, I'm going to serve mine with a chimichurri because it is a match made in food heaven. The original recipe serves it with like a tomato dressing, if you will, which you can look up and totally do. I just love the idea of, because these get so sweet and they intensify in flavor when you do cook them, that something pungent and herby and vinegary and sharp and garlicky is just like heaven together. So I'm going to let these sit. I'll get my ingredients for my chimichurri and then we rock and roll. It's been about 20 minutes and I don't know if you can see, but the paper towel is visibly wet. It, it extracted quite a bit of moisture, which is good. Now I don't have a pan that's big enough that I can do all four of them at the same time. So I've got my pan preheating with a little neutral oil to get nice and hot because you need it to be really nice and hot. And I've got a baking sheet here ready with some aluminum foil. Um, because it, we need a landing spot. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a paper towel. I'm not rinsing them. I had a few questions about whether or not I rinse them. I don't. I just sort of pat them dry a bit and then you drop them into that hot skillet. Like I said, I'm going to do a couple at a time. Perfect. Because if I were to put these around, it like doesn't fit well. So I'm going to leave those undisturbed for about five minutes or until the bottom gets a really deep golden brown color. I need a splatter screen. <laughs> I will show you what they look like when they're there. But in the meantime, I want to get working on my chimichurri, which I'm going to use parsley as my base, but you can absolutely add, I like to add mint to this. I like to add some fresh oregano when I have it. But for today, I'm just going to use all parsley and I'm going to very, very finely chop all the garlic, one shallot and one clove of garlic. Those two are ready. Look at that beautiful color. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in the other two and you're only cooking them, remember, on the cut side. Okay, so don't worry about having to flip them. Just cook them until they look a little bit like that. I'm just going to, still here, still cutting up my, still finely chopping my shallot and it's strong. These look phenomenal. I'm going to just throw them into the oven because they need to cook for about 15, 20 minutes. And while that happens, let's finish our sauce. To the parsley herbs or whatever you're using, shallot and garlic, I'm going to use some red wine vinegar. You can also use white wine vinegar. And I like to use a good amount of it because it should be sharp. It should be, you know, picante. Extra virgin olive oil because I like it. And then a really good pinch of salt. 
and mix it all together and then taste. If you want it sharper, add more vinegar. If you want it milder, add a bit of boiling water. It really does take things down a notch and it also softens your herbs slightly. Let's taste. Oh, that's good. I want it runnier, so I'm gonna just do more vinegar, more oil, and that way it's more spoonable. You know what I mean? This is so good. This is great on anything and everything, uh, but it's also phenomenal, here it is, as a marinade. Listen, just beyond, okay? Perfect. Where is the salad dressing? Bellissima. Just set this aside until everything's ready. These look gorgeous. You see how they're like nice and pliable now? They were in the oven for 20 minutes. I should probably get a utensil to help me, but you know what? I'm fine. I can do this. Try not to burn yourself as you transfer them, but they are gorgeous. And I'm telling you, something just magical happens when you cook them this way because they just, they retain somewhat of their texture but then they just get buttery and yummy and soft. And zucchini does tend to do that when you cook them in a lot of fat, which is really wonderful, like lots of olive oil for a pasta dish or whatnot. Oh, just really beyond. And then you can put as much or as little of your chimichurri on them as you like. I do a little bit and then serve the rest on the side and they were such a hit. I also like a little heat. They were such a hit, I cannot even tell you. Now I do have to like bite into one because I feel like it's my duty. Let's go with this piece right here. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this yumminess on top. They're like butter. Give me a second though, because I literally just pulled them out of the oven, but look, you can see that they're still intact. Ah, I lost it, see? Mm. Mm hmm. Literally, literally best. Best, 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 best. I'm gonna do something that's gonna make you guys think I'm crazy, but I am gonna sprinkle a touch of salt over the top because it's not like all of that salt remained on your zucchini because when you placed it cut side down on that paper towel, a lot of it absorbed it. It's phenomenal. It's the best way to make zucchini. It's viral for a reason. I hope that you make this all spring and summer long, especially if you are lucky enough to have zucchini growing in your garden because they are abundant and they will be phenomenal. This would be phenomenal with the perfect small zucchini, tender and delicious. Go to lauraandthekitchen.com. I will have everything sort of written for you as a guide. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.